guys, my name is Leonie and welcome to another video of Vlogmas. Today I'm gonna do a rapid fire book tag just to make up for the fact that I don't have a campfire in my house. So this tag was created by Kate from Girl Rating and she also tagged me and I will link her video down below. You should definitely check her out and also her channel because she's great. Ebook or physical book? For me, definitely physical book. I don't even own an e-reader. Paperback or hardback? I am a big fan of paperbacks because they're easier to read, they're easier to take with you, they're cheaper, and I actually also think they look nicer on the shelf. As you can probably tell since pretty much all the books on my shelf are paperbacks. Online or in-store book shopping? Well, however much I love being in a bookstore, the shopping usually happens online. Trilogies or series? Trilogies, because I have commitment issues. Heroes or villains? This is a difficult one because I'm tempted to say villains, but my favorite characters are usually heroes that are just very morally ambiguous. Basically, I just really like anti-heroes and anti-villains, so it's hard for me to choose which one I like best. Basically, I really like it when heroes are villainous, and I really like it when villains are sort of heroic. A book you want everyone to read. I'm just gonna skip the obvious answer of me saying vicious, and instead... Oh! I'm going to recommend In Order to Live by Yami Park because this is actually a non-fiction book about a girl who escaped from North Korea and I think everyone should read it because it just gives insight in things about this country that we don't know a lot about but that are very important so I would definitely recommend you at least read this once in your life. Recommend an underrated book. I'm gonna go with Circus Miranda's by Cassie Beasley. This is a middle grade novel that is about magic and family and it involves a magical circus. I just think it is super cute and I actually do think this would be quite nice to read during Christmas time because it has that cute and cozy family feel to it with a sprinkle of magic. The last book you bought, that's gotta be Crooked Kingdom by Libra Duco. The weirdest thing that you've ever used as a bookmark? Well, I have a tendency to very often use air as a bookmark. Wouldn't recommend it, doesn't really work. Used books, yes or no? I'm gonna go with no. I do prefer buying my books new because it looks pretty. I know it's a very shallow answer, but if I don't feel the need to actually own the book in its beautiful form, then I will just go to the library instead of buying a used book. Top three favorite genres. Fantasy, fantasy, fantasy. Okay, but if I really have to choose, it's gonna be something like high fantasy, urban fantasy, and dystopian. Borrow or buy? This is, I actually use both. Sometimes I borrow books and sometimes I buy books. Characters or plot? When I don't like the characters in a book, then it's gonna be very difficult for me to enjoy the plot. And I'm probably definitely going to enjoy the book less, but even if I love the characters, but if the plot is boring me, then I pro then I have no reason to con continue reading and I probably won't even finish the book. So I think I'm gonna have to go with plot. Long or short books? I'm gonna go with short books. Depends on what you define as short, but I prefer books that are between 300 and 400 pages. Everything over 400 pages is already kind of scaring me, so I think that's considered sort of short, especially for fantasy books. Long or short chapters? Definitely short chapters. Short chapters are the reason that I continue reading way too long at night, because I'm constantly like, just one more chapter. Name the first three books you can think of. Red Queen, Six of Crows, The Bone Season. Books that make you laugh or cry. I'm gonna go with books that make me cry. Even though I rarely ever cry while reading books, if a book can make me cry, it means that it gave me all the feels and I like it when books give me all the feels because that means that the book was capable of having me super emotionally attached. So I'm gonna go with cry. Our world or fictional world? I definitely prefer books that take place in fictional worlds because I, if I want to read about our world, I can just, you know, talk to my friends about daily life in our world, but fictional worlds, I can't, I can never experience that. I, I need to get that from books. Audiobooks, yes or no? 
definitely a no for me. I tried it once, but I just can't focus on the audio and my mind wanders and I really need to see the words on the page to stay focused on the story. Do you ever judge a book by its cover? Yes, definitely. I have never bought a book just because I thought the cover was pretty, but I definitely don't buy books because I think the cover is not pretty. Book to movie or book to TV adaptions? I'm gonna go with book to movie adaptions simply because I live in the Netherlands because book to movie adaptions usually at least come to Dutch uh, cinemas but book to TV adaptions, these TV shows, are not broadcasted on Dutch TV. It's just a lot harder for me to see the TV shows than the movies. A movie or TV show that you prefer to its book. I'm gonna go with Mockingjay part one because I felt like the first person narrative in the first part of Mockingjay the book really limited the experience of everything that was happening in the book and the movie showed different perspectives and then I felt like you really got every part of the story and I definitely enjoyed that more. And the last one is series or standalones. I'm gonna go with standalones because again, I have commitment issues and I just really wish that there were more standalones because there's such a lack of standalones in fantasy. And that was the rapid fire book tag. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you soon in another video of Vlogmas. Goodbye.